welcome to my channel dear folks how this I, I don't know how to start <laughs> this replay this is a replay uh, or shall I say a video about revisit revisit the US uh, not the US <laughs> Japanese cruiser line and I would like to say all the way from start I uh, do like the Japanese cruiser and especially when they receive some buff and also talk what kind of buff they receive and the entire line very short I would like to go to Tech 3 the best uh, cruisers uh, in my honestly opinion for the Japanese line are Furutaka, Miyoko and Zao and I believe guys I'm not gonna lie what, what I'm gonna say right now the role of a cruiser I know it's kind of a special kind of role but uh, overall strong strong uh, cruiser it's one of the best tier 5 cruiser in the game at tier 5 Furutaka they receive a new buff and same thing goes with Miyoko and Zhao but I'm not gonna uh, focus the Furutaka or the Miyoko, uh, the Zhao or only fo uh, focus and uh, turn um, shall I say attention to the Miyoko Miyoko was always a pretty decent uh, uh, cruiser in my honestly opinion you do kind of a well of course you struggle uh, versus battleship because w there's only two downsides with the Miyoko only two she does not have more than two one it's, she's kind of big she's kind of a big and you know have huge big citadel if you're showing your side to any battleship uh, rip you and you will eat citadel as like there's no one's business and the second one it's actually the range the range is only 15.6 which is not a whole lot i mean seriously guys there is um many other tier 6 and tiers yeah tier 6 cru uh, cruisers which have a better range than you tier 7 so what it has been buffed it has been buffed the sigma and turret traverse speed this you know balancing factor for wargaming decide to give this uh, cruiser slow turret traverse speed almost the slowest turret traverse speed in the damn game uh, it, Miyoko and Mogami's it was horrible I mean, I mean real damn horrible painfully I do honestly believe I had uh, 45 seconds turret traverse speed so when you were turning man the the guns will not keep up now the buff or the 31.6 and I do believe with export markman yes with expert mark, markman and you can improve it even faster if you would like to have with the module but uh, overall it's a huge damn different between 45 seconds and 31.6 uh, it's not great don't get me wrong but it's definitely work I can definitely feel that the guns are moving way 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 better but the bread and butter of those um, guns are actually the extremely good dispersion and Sigma you will hit and this is in my honestly opinion what's really good about this ship I know you have one stupid turret at uh, the third turret it's mech you're only gonna hit it when you kind of a show uh, almost perfect broadside and you can use it and the rear are not excellent but you know if you angle you know like this you can definitely use all your guns you have to have one kind of a special uh, angle however guys this ship it's OP in one way I'm talking about the percentage to put your enemy on fire or on real and there is not less than 19 percent and the HE penetration it's 33 millimeters which basically uh, guys for tier 7 tier 8 and below besides Roma and some other weird 50 millimeters armor but 33 it's more than enough to pen and do huge amount of damage and with this new buff Sigma and the tra traverse speed this is one hell of a monster um, once again the biggest downside of this cruiser you cannot let's talk about module 
you do have repair party you have AA defense or hydro I don't recommend hydro and also explain you why in a short and you have uh, only catapult fighter you don't have the spotter play which it's kind of a uh, bad I really wish many times that I would have the catapult fighters to increase their range further uh, because uh, once again guys uh, I do have the concealment expert and let's talk about very fast about the concealment 11.2 it's not bad with concealment uh, expert but uh, between 11.2 and max range it's what barely four point something kilometers so it's not a whole lot um, from from uh, what I'm trying to say it's kind of a, yeah it's kind of a bad I mean the French uh, counterpart the tier 7 they do have a, a better range better speed uh, yeah, this cruiser does not have uh, you know speed boost however there is something that many many BB players forget about the uh, Miyoko Miyoko has have right now one of the best torpedoes at year 7 and it's 610 uh, kilograms torps what kind of torps do I talk about and this is kind of important 610 millimeters uh, triple so you have six in each side which basically you can send two launchers left uh, two launchers right and they do whopping 17,233 uh, damage and reload every 76 seconds 10 kilometers and detection 1.6 uh, for a cruiser guys this is absolutely a beast sure the torpedo angle are so horrible you basically have to chase away and then you can send the torp because not if you're perfect broadside you cannot use your torp it's absolutely hilarious it, it is guys a uh, balancing factor otherwise this ship would be oopy as hell um, so when you're kiting away you can send but there is a lot of fish in the water guys 12 of them six in each side it's not bad and you battleship captain you don't can afford to take three hell six you will be dead uh, it's i'm not saying that you're gonna eat but if you do you're so dead you're never gonna believe it's too much of a shall i say uh, oomph of a torpedo power but then guys what it's kind of a nice and i very enjoyed this ship this is pretty maneuverable ship it's right now easy as i don't know how to explain it's little zao for crying out loud at your server you have so easy to hit your uh, uh, enemy at max range and those guns make big huge he alpha damage but the, the thing is this 203 millimeters gun so you are technical or uh, heavy cruiser you can definitely use your ap for some broadside cruisers uh, and for battleship you're trying to torp them and spam them and believe me to have 11 10 11 or 15 fires in one game it's not something unusual uh, matter of fact it's very unusual with this huge percent to put your enemy on fire um, of course she is after all a cruiser she does not have heal all you need to try to do, dodge left and right and you're kind of a big you really cannot afford to uh, show your broadside even though the armor it's not uh, extremely bad uh, but of course you need to know your position however there's one thing I would like to say now I only have a bad, really bad, bad, bad captain. But I actually um, do recommend you to uh, put this module. Uh, why, guys? I'm not. I'm not lying. With aiming system modification, it's not bad to have. But I really mean that you have one of the best pain point guns at tier seven, and it's, it will not benefit a whole lot that's what I'm trying to say uh, but the AA and 
let's say if you spec the captain because the next point it will uh, be at advanced fire in training you have in 61 AA um, but what, I, what I'm trying to say guys is that uh, herb AA it's not something crazy but it's definitely something that many CV uh, players forget that oh it's a Japanese uh, cruiser just go and nuke it because her AA is crap yes it, her AA is crap but if you spec I repeat if you spec everything for the AA like I told you the module and advanced firing training um, well I remember with this captain with this bill I uh, took down 36 plane in one battle alone yes it was not a tier 8 I don't know if it was a tier 6 yeah it was a tier 6 carrier uh, but uh, what I'm trying to say guys is it's that if you have a good captain you can definitely uh, become shall I say close to a fleet escort in AA department uh, so many of CV does not understand that uh, the Miyoko it's um, should I say tier for tier extremely strong in AA if the captain is specking for it but guys I enjoy this um, uh, cruiser for two reason it has should I say a good all-arounder that's the closest I can say it's a good uh, uh, all-arounder in every single spec she has extremely good guns uh, good torps, good AA. I'm not saying the best, but in general makes this a uh, ideal cruiser. And believe me, I I like this cruiser. I, it for me, it's a keeper, and it's a strong one, especially in today's live uh, tier seven gameplays. Of course, you may argue that sometimes you kind of struggle uh, with short range versus tier eights and tiers nice but come on guys more than 50 percent of all your battles in tier seven ships you are top dog so you will shoot tier six and tier fives uh, so that's that's the truth and this ship it's too strong versus tier six or tier seven they are just i don't know and something else and this is the final word her even though the reload are not great i'm talking about 14 seconds one full salvo from this cruiser can devastate a destroyer or a light light cruiser it would absolutely murder them serious guys guys in the next video i'll show you a replay where how i play this uh, ship i mean you can almost one shot a dd seriously this is so broken strong um, you know japanese he uh, uh, powerful high damage cruiser it's like a uh, Zhao but at tier 7 guys uh, the thought it's definitely I would like to say to go for it it's much more fun when you have much faster turret speed and um, the Sigma the the shells are extremely tight together if you know how to aim it's not a crazy thing to hit your target at max range each and every time so guys that's the end of um, the first video the second video it will be a replay how I played the Miyoko thanks guys see you soon